So in a previous uh, Sports File podcast, we talked about the importance of the Montreal Canadiens' uh, defensive players, uh, not only uh, rear guards, but defensive forwards through the Cups of the 1960s and 1970s. And one of these uh, people uh, probably is more well-known to uh, what they call the younger generation of being the longtime color commentator for SRC's Hockey Night in Canada broadcast with Richard Garneau and uh, René Lacavier. Now, uh, Joe Tremblay, uh, one of the best defensive forwards of the 1960s, who had a short career with Montreal, uh, kind of plagued by nagging injuries, but his efforts on the ice helped Montreal's, uh, what I call, the, uh, the, the first uh, dynasty after the 1956-60 five trade. Uh, Trombley uh, played 509 games with Montreal, scored uh, 168 goals and added 162 assists. Um, before, again, like I said, the injury bug led to his retirement uh, at the young age of 31. Now, Trombley won four cups with the Montreal in 85, 86, 88, and 89. And, of course, Montreal would have won five straight if uh, they would have overcome uh, – Davy Keon's uh, defensive uh, play against John Beliveau in the 67 uh, Stanley Cup for Toronto. So technically, that uh, that could be easily five straight cups. Now, uh, bo- born Joseph Jean Gilles Tremblay on the sever- December 17, 1938, uh, played the majority of his uh, junior career with the Hull Ottawa Canadiens, and also uh, saw much time in the Memorial Cup playoffs. Had some uh, great statistics with them, almost a point-of-game day. Uh, started uh, his uh, pro career, actually, with the Rochester Americans, which was a uh, Canadian affiliate. Uh, but overall, he played a number of seasons for Hull, Ottawa. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was, again, considered one of the most consistent uh, players in the uh, EPHL at the time. Now, he finally had his breakthrough with the Montreal Canadiens in a 61 season, scoring seven goals in 45 games. But uh, by 61-62, he really broke out, scoring 32 goals, including 54 total points. Uh, 63 and 64, 25 and 22 goals. Uh, 65 in the cup uh, run where uh, actually he didn't play a game in the playoffs because of injury. Ended up with 16 points in 26 uh, games. But uh, the next uh, four seasons, Jill was used uh, primarily as the main defensive stalwart against the uh, uh, the other team, uh, sort of similar to kind of a, uh, a Guy Carboneau, a Claude Provo, a player like that, Bob Gaines. Very efficient on the ice, good passing, uh, good skills. Uh, tremendous uh, presence on the bench uh, and in the locker room. Uh, the Gazette said in public reports he was the cerebral uh, player that uh, Bellevue was, but he was sort of like a junior version of Bellevue. He could score, but he also could play uh, two-way hockey with the best of them. But if you go up against, like, Gordy Howe with the Hedo, Bobby Howe, people like that, and if they made a mistake, uh, Joe had the uh, opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, uh, score a key counters or get the key assist. Now, after he left the Habs, uh, he uh, he became he changed the way the French color commentary uh, was looked at because we all know on the English hockey night in Canada the color was like uh, Dick Urban and Dallas Gallivan, Brian Karnick or people like this. But what Joe Trombley uh, basically did, and I think if I'm not mistaken, they were trying out Jacques Plante every once in a while after his teams were knocked out of the playoffs. I know Jacques Plante had uh, announced some of the '72. Uh, uh, you know, some series against the Russians. But uh, Joe Trombley's knowledge of hockey uh, was almost encyclopedic. He was 26 years, and as, as strong as Garneau and Le Cavier was in describing the action, Joe would notice things going on the ice. He predicted uh, kind of the fall of the Montreal Canadiens when they were making the bad trades in the early 80s. He predicted the rise of the Nordiques, saying that, you know, the Nordiques were... Uh, taking over uh, that uh, kind of uh, French fire world, wagon hockey that Montreal kind of abandoned under uh, Jacques Lemaire. And I know he wrote several articles as well. I think he had a couple of uh, uh, 
major awards before he won one of the biggest awards uh, a journalist can win in Canada. Uh, in 2002, he was named uh, the Foster U.S. Memorial Award for his, uh, his hard work. But unfortunately, uh, you know, his uh, injuries and, uh, you know, ailments caught up with him. And he unfortunately passed away of heart failure on November 26, 26 2014. Now, as a bilingual person, uh, I often used to uh, uh, watch uh, the French game because I didn't really like the English announcing of uh, Bob Cole and uh, Kelly for the, the Montreal Canadiens after Gallivan retired. I was watching more and more of uh, Joe Tremblay uh, work on the SRC feed, and I found him uh, smooth as silk. The only comparison that is even out there is how good Tony Kubek was with announcing baseball for the national game and for the Blue Jays. Uh, he was the Tony Kubek of uh, ice hockey. Uh, some members of my family met him, said he was a very genial guy, extremely, extremely knowledgeable. And with a last name of Trombley, I mean, if you know the history of the, the, the Trombleys and the, uh, the Montreal Canadiens medical, there was some uh, question that he was going to go into coaching, but I think he was really pleased to be still part of Montreal because he was a student of the game. He came into uh, the NHL at a time where the, the Habs were rebuilding. The early 60s were, were kind of a difficult era because Morris had retired. Henri was the captain and Bellevue was around, but Bellevue was having some uh, problems in regular season and only producing the playoffs. So it was uh, he helped rebuild the franchise into uh, glory. And I would figure at least two of those cups, uh, the four of the five, belong to the uh, the grinders or the stalwarts like Trombley because uh, imagine if Joe Trombley wasn't around. And a lot of the Montreal Canadiens' defensive style of the uh, 80s and into the 90s with, you know, the Brian Skogler and Mike McPhee, Claude Lemire uh, style like that, like the two two-way players, are based on kind of Joe Trombley style. It's hard to describe in 20 words what his defensive style was. It was more of a circular pattern, which uh, Deep Carmen kind of mimic. They've been showing the repeats of the 93 series between the Kings and Montreal, uh, the finals with Montreal 1. Watch how Deep Carmen shadows um, Wayne Gretzky. Because as you know, when, when uh, Edmonton knocked off Montreal in the 81 series, uh, there was no Guy Carbono shadow there. Uh, Ganey wasn't uh, the shadow that Joe Trombley was. Because again, sometimes Ganey would headband the puck. Joe Trombley was a reactive uh, player. And like I said, uh, one of the most intelligent the hockey minds in, in Quebec history. And uh, he is sorely missed. Uh, I don't know what Joe Trombley would be saying about the modern NHL, but I know he would like people like Connor McDavid and Ovechkin, but, uh, you know, he uh, he saw the best, and he was one of the best, and uh, that's what you need to announce it. Uh, the best to announce the best. So on this uh, COVID Friday, we're uh, waiting for New Brunswick to uh, lessen restrictions. I'd like to say an open thank you to all the people across North America and the world that uh, are trying to stay safe as best as possible. In Canada, it's been a difficult situation with Quebec and Ontario especially in the nursing homes. We mourn every death that is done. And uh, if this podcast uh, channel can give you a few seconds of relief, I say thank you. Give me a like, subscribe, or uh, pass on the good news. And like we like to say, it's a Bearford baby driving. If you like it, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, don't tell nobody. Good day.